Ahead of the holiday shopping season, a lot of stores are struggling to hire new employees to handle the anticipated crowds. News from Jack's reporter Eric Avenier joining us live after spending the better half of the day calling store managers, going to major store chains, all trying to find out how many employees they need to hire. So Eric, what are these store managers selling you? Well, Kate, I spoke with a lot of store managers today, but only one was given permission by a corporate office to talk with me on camera. However, all the managers that I've spoken with say uh, they are all experiencing the same problem. They do not have enough help going into this Christmas shopping season. Here inside the men's warehouse clothing store at the town center mall, store manager Selena Morales says business is booming, especially when it comes to dressing men for weddings. I feel like we've been, I want to say, triple booking the amount of weddings that we normally used to, especially during the, for, you know, due to the pandemic. But now the holiday shopping season is just days away, which typically means more customers coming through the door. This also means the store needs to hire more employees to provide customer service. At this location specifically, we are looking to hire 10 part-time employees. Company-wide, Men's Warehouse is hiring both full and part-time positions, but are having a difficult time filling those jobs despite offering to hire on the spot. Men's Warehouse is not alone. Other stores at the mall and around Jacksonville also need to hire help, but are having a hard time getting new employees to come on. For example, the Jacksonville Nordstrom store needs to fill 36 positions. A manager I spoke with says they're offering $14 an hour for some positions. Dillard's has 17 jobs available at its stores in Jacksonville and Orange Park. J.C. Penney has 25 openings at its stores in Jacksonville and Orange Park. Duluth Trading Company in Jacksonville has three positions available, one of which is a seasonal store associate position that pays $12 an hour, and Coles has 15 job openings at its stores in Jacksonville. 11 of those jobs are seasonal. Back at the men's warehouse, Morales is just hoping to quickly hire folks and get them trained before Christmas shopping season kicks into full gear. I'm hoping if anybody can go to the menswarehouse.com, uh, the career section, and apply, definitely. Yeah, we're hoping that we get some more people in the door fast. Back here live now, it's the exact opposite for mom and pop stores like this one, simply because uh, they're small enough and they don't require that large staff. So stores like this only require um, just a just a handful of people. And uh, that's what I've uh, been running into when I was talking to some of the smaller uh, store owners. Uh, and, and other than that, uh, you know, uh, this is pretty much what we're seeing. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, the local station. Eric, when some of the stores that you went to, when they do hire people, is there any indication as to how long they stay on? That's an interesting question because one store manager I spoke with says that uh, she's had instances where she has hired people uh, who have said that, yeah, we will work X amount of hours, X amount of days. But then she says in about two weeks, those same people will come back and will either quit their job or come to her and ask, could they work uh, smaller hours or, or just maybe one or two days because they found another job, uh, which is really interesting about that statement is because I also spoke with another store manager who echoed the same thing. Kent. All right, Eric Avenue reporting live in San Marco tonight. Thank you.